What is up everybody, Dr. GTA. I'm coming at you with a little short video today, and this is for everybody that's having problems with running SLI GTA 4. Now basically, I'm gonna be showing you how to run GTA 4 in SLI and get good frames. People have problems, they say it doesn't work. Well, I have a solution for you, and um, I'll be linking everything you need in the video. So um, we'll start off by saying this is what you need. You need two whatever cards you're running, um, obviously you already have two in SLI if you're on this video. So what you're going to do is bridge them and then you're going to go to your, this is only for GTX models by the way. Um, you're going to go to your control panel, your NVIDIA control panel, and you're going to go to um, GTA 4. You're going to go to match, I mean manage 3D settings. Actually, you're going to go to configure SLI surround sound. You're first going to enable the maximum 3D performance which enables SLI and you're going to let the processor auto select from there you're going to apply that effect on the corner so I'm just going to do this just to show you hit apply and I can't hit apply because I'm recording but either way that's what you're going to do is hit apply there see it'll show you then you're going to go to manage manage 3D settings and you're going to go to launch GTA 4 basically you're gonna go add and you're gonna add the GTA 4 execution the launch GTA 4 it's gonna take a minute to load up but you're gonna go browse and you're gonna look for it now I'm already in my program files Rockstar Games wherever yours is at Steam versions too you're gonna just locate this file and that's the file you're gonna use I've already done that once you're done click OK on it and it's gonna bring this up once this gets brought up you want to go down and make sure everything's on global settings. The only three you want to really make sure are changed are on the power management mode, maximum performance mode, SLI rendering mode. You want recommended SLI. And then um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, and there's one more. Um, let's see. Oh, here you go. Use global setting. Make sure that's multiple display performance mode. And then you're going to apply that. And once you're done, you're going to exit out of that. Then you're going to go um, download this software called Precision. Actually, you don't really need this, but I just run it so you don't throttle um, EVGA Precision X. And this is just a little thing I do ex extra. And I just go on here and I go to this fan curve because it's going to go for both of them. It's, it applies for both. You're going to click right here on the fan curve once you install it and um, it's going to have this you can bring it up now what I want to say is after 70 degrees Celsius GTX cards the 600 series that I know of they start to throttle and down clock when they down clock that means you get frame stutter and lags and all kinds of stuff so you want to try to keep them nice and cool below 70 and if you're on air on fans you want to definitely keep this around 65 to 68 so you want to make the fan speed at hundred percent before it gets to about 65 to 67 degrees Celsius. So you're gonna have that max right around there and you're gonna hit OK and apply that. This this will be lit up to apply so you'll have to click this to apply it. And once you're done it should be good. You can just minimize that. Do not exit out of it. You can't exit because if you exit it's gonna close the fan. You have to keep it running in the background. Now once you're done with that um, we're going to do the last thing, which is really simple. You're going to go download the software called NVDA Inspector. And basically, I'll, I'll put the link in there too. Once you download it, it doesn't install. It's just an executable file that runs anywhere you place it. Um, it places three files, which are your change log, your custom settings, and then your um, NVIDIA Inspector execution. You want to keep these all in the same folder because these are your presets. I'm not sure if you do, if you delete this, if it changes the settings or removes the settings you place, but it should. Um, you should always keep it in, in on the computer because I think it has something to do with it. So basically, this is what you're going to do. You're going to run the NVIDIA Inspector after you've installed it, and you're going to uh, you, you're going to get this little window open up. It's going to have all the stuff. You're going to go down here, and there's going to be this little tool for the driver version and you're going to click that and it's going to pop up. Once it pops up it's going to load this menu with all these settings, compatibility, anti-aliasing, texture filtering, common, um, and it's going to have profiles. Now you're going to click right here one time and you're going to enter Grand Theft Auto 
or whichever game you're trying to get the SLI to work on. You, this works for expansions, EFLC as well, San Andreas and 2.3, all those. Anything that's on the Rage Engine, which probably you have the problem with, you can use that for. So I'm going to guess 4, IV, expansion, and that's pretty much it. So go to 4, because that's what I have. I don't have EFLC. And you're going to go right here. You see compatibility, SLI compatibility bits. You're going to click on this value right here. And yours should be different than this. And you're going to enter what I have right here, which is 0x4350405. I'll repeat that again. 0x4350405. And then you're going to um, click off so it select deselects it and it's, make sure it's, it changes. And that's what you're going to change. That's the only value you're going to change. Then from there, um, you're going to hit apply changes and then you're going to exit out and then when you go in your game it should be amazing at frames now one other thing I want to recommend too is you put a command line um, in your game which I do you put it in your game directory go to your GT4 directory and you're gonna have a command line here's mine right here command line dot text that's what you name it it's just a notepad and I want you to enter these limits in there which are no mem restrict no restrictions percent vidmem 100.0 full spec audio no swap delay restrict app zero these two are most important because the no swap delay doesn't delay the time the frame loads from the gpu into the signal and the restrict app doesn't restrict the rendering of the of the holding back of the frame so it actually helps Another thing I would recommend is you try running the game and when you go into the graphics setting of the game, you run it with VSync on. And VSync is a setting that you'll go push start when you get in the game and you go left two times and it'll go to graphics menu. You click A and then you'll go down and it'll be like a, a VSync and it'll be on or off. Make sure you turn it on, push spacebar or enter to apply. And then once you uh, load in the game, I would reboot the game on that, but once you load the game and drive around for a while, the next time it should have no lag, no hiccuping, no stutter effects, and it should be smooth. And I'm running some amazing high-end ENBs and stuff, and I'm getting 35 to 45 frames playing with it. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you liked it, comment, rate, subscribe for more. If you didn't, dislike it, but let's go back. Um, one more thing I want to recommend before you load this profile um, what I want you to do is click this import user defined profiles actually my bad you're gonna add application add application to current profile so you're gonna go and you're gonna click on launch GTA 4.exe which is the main one whichever one you're launching like if you have multiple GTA 4 folders Whichever one you're launching, you want to go to that one because I think it's different per address for this. It might not be, but I'm just recommending. So select that, open it, and it should have the bits. If the bits are the same, then you've already applied it. But if not, reapply this value, 0x4350405, and hit apply changes and exit out. And then when you run the game, it should run amazingly. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Also, if you're running the game, right click on launch GTA IV.exe and go to compatibility and run it as administrator. I always recommend that. And other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Um, let me know what you have to say in the comments. Um, I'm running two GTX 680s in SLI. Um, they're not overclocked right now, but they will be. And that's pretty much what I'm running. When I overclock it, I'll get another 10 to 15 frames depending on the mods I have installed too. It really makes it amazing to run an SLI on GTA 4. Not like other people have recommended, you know, running it with physics on one and then graphics on the other. I don't recommend that anymore because it seems more stable this way. Plus it gives, um, you know, more, it, it makes the, uh, it makes everything load quicker, I think. Pretty much that's all I got to say today. Um, I'm pretty sure this will work for any card you run in SLI. The only cards I know it won't work for is um, probably two GTX 690s or two Titans, which you probably wouldn't even need it anyway, but um, every other card from the 600 series, the even the mobile series, if you have two in SLI, which I don't think that can ha happen, it should work. And for the 700 series, um, pretty much 
I think that's it as well. Um, thanks for watching this video. Comment, rate, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later.